Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft. When we last left off, I was dazed and confused, left cursing the world that our mob spawner was not functioning properly. Well, I did a bit of research since last time and found that A, mobs will spawn on netherrack. That's not actually an issue that we're facing and most likely what's happening is that that little area right there is just such a small percentage of the total places mobs can actually spawn whether it be in cave systems down below or over yonder wherever it may be that the probability of them spawning in there is just so low that essentially it is uh, pretty much nothing <laughs> so we're not getting any spawns so instead what we're gonna do is we are going to expand the probability of mob spawning in that area. So what I did to test things out is I opened up another world and basically laid out a huge plane of netherrack and a bunch of mobs spawned on it. So obviously that wasn't an issue. And then I just created sort of a huge enclosure and sure enough mobs spawned in that. So that's what we're going to do. I figure that after I go and have some sleepy time here, we're going to go and actually mine into the mountain behind our current spawning area and that way we can substantially increase the uh, the area in which they can spawn so if we hollow out that mountain essentially we can uh, do some cool stuff hopefully well not necessarily do some cool stuff <laughs> pretty simple hollowing that out but uh, as far as lots of mobs falling and then us being able to collect their droppings not droppings as in their poop, but as in uh, as in their items. <laughs> All right, so I came up here because I figure everyone wants me to dive. So let's dive in the spirits of the Olympics. Actually, speaking of the Olympics, diving is one of the uh, the only sports I really watch when it comes to Summer Olympics. But again, I don't actually have cable TV, so hi there. Nice to see you not spawning in the spot you're supposed to be spawning in. So I'm going to uh, take... Oh, what the hell? Did you see that just turn around? I got... Oh, my God. <laughs> he wasn't even looking at me. He was just like, sup. I'm going to own your face up. Um, so anyway, uh, what we're going to do basically is just start digging into the mountain here. And um, hopefully by doing this, we'll create a large enough area to where... Uh, lots of mobs will feel like spawning for us. And it'll be marvelous. 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 So I figure I should make it sort of a... Uh, I can I can worry about actually making it a tiered system so water will be flowing downwards after. For now, I'm probably just going to hollow it out to the best of my ability. And uh, just basically make it as wide and deep as possible. No sexual innu innu innuendo intended. Innuendo intendo. Nintendo, we, you. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Olympics are going on, so that's interesting. As I said, I don't have cable. It's funny. I was actually discussing this on a on a live stream of mine last night. Live stream plug. Follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. <laughs> and uh, I had mentioned that NBC basically has this crazy partnership going with YouTube when it comes to the Olympics. And so all the uh, all the live streams of the Olympics are actually on YouTube, but they're in some crazy like private system to where when you click through the uh, the embedded video on on NBC's Olympic website, it just takes you to YouTube's homepage rather than actually taking you to like the video page on YouTube where the uh, where the the video would be playing. So. Basically, they make you log in and prove you have a cable TV account in order to watch the Olympics online, which is like, if I had cable TV, why would I be watching the Olympics online? Tell me what, tell me this. <laughs> so, so it made me, made me sad because I wanted to watch gymnastics and I wanted to watch diving, both of which seem to be taking place pretty much every day. Um, but alas, they gave me like a four hour viewing window. They were like, here, have fun. That's all you get. <laughs> I was like, thanks, man. Thanks. How about how about you guys finally adapt to the changing media and actually, I don't know, maybe let people with internet connections 
pay a couple dollars in order to watch something like the Olympics. I don't know. Just a thought. Seems like it would be a good idea. Anywho, slash rant over on companies connecting your cable TV subscription to your internet, which maybe one day will go away. Oh, hello, Gravel. Oh, I hope there's not going to be so much of this. What are you doing? How are you even... To look, look, there's a thing there you should be spawning in. Not... Get out of my life. Yeah. Yeah, get out of my life. I want nothing to do with you. Let's open this thing up a bit and we'll like, we'll start connecting things together. That would be a good way to go about doing this. We'll, uh, we'll make sure it's all level and even. So we'll keep it about the same width because this thing is actually pretty wide. That's what she said. And this way. Keep it all nice and even. And all right, here we go. Open this thing up and see how nice and bright it is because of that lava. So that also is obviously uh, an issue because in this area over here, because of the lava, it's, uh, it's already too light. So essentially it's leaving the mob as like just this tiny little area of darkness. Oh, I want that. <laughs> oh God, let me out. I don't want to burn. <laughs> it's leaving them just this tiny little area where they have a chance to spawn and uh, I think that's what's really causing the issue alternatively the only other thing I could guess is um, that they changed the height so where obviously when it came to skyblock they had no issues spawning in a in a room of too high if they tr if, if Mojang changed something since then to uh, restrict the amount of mobs or if any mobs can spawn in uh, an area of too high potentially because of enderman they would have made the change that's the only thing i can really think of so just in case we'll make this whole part three tall and i guess we'll create sort of a tiered structure so that the water can flow downwards alternatively i could completely revise this area i could remove the bottom portion and just make a very large channel for, for water to uh, flow straight down um, in sort of a... So it, we would keep this... Basically, we'd keep the entire spawning platform level and instead have the water cascading down um, rather than both the water and the, uh, the spawning cascading down. So we may actually go with that. It might make things easier simply because if we keep having to tier this entire area um oh wait i don't need to be doing this uh if we keep having to tier this entire area off then what's going to happen is we could end up getting to a point on the hillside to where uh it doesn't allow us much more space because obviously the hillside is going to taper off as we get higher up on it so we want to sort of maximize the area in which we can create this spawning place. So, all right, and we'll wall this off. I mined a little bit more than I needed to actually. So, we can continue this. And as you can see, it's already getting much more spacious and uh, mobs should undoubtedly begin to spawn in here once I uh, go away. At the very least, in the daytime if it's all uh, darkened out because yeah so all right gravel I've seen enough of you I need no more oh my god so much all right flint for days I guess we don't need to uh, worry about flint and steel anymore do we let's keep mining this baby out and we will basically I, I think we'll just make it as far into the hillside as possible uh, might do a little bit of cutting so that you don't have to watch me do this thing the entire time. Alternatively, I could time lapse it. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever seems interesting. I'm, I don't think I'm going to worry about the uh, <laughs> disparities in the, in the material types with splotches of grass and dirt all over the place because no one's really going to see the inside of this once we're through with it. So. Who cares, in other words? All right. Um, oh wait, we don't need to make it four high. What am I doing? I don't actually know. Well, who cares? It doesn't matter. There's no sense in actually changing it now. Who cares if the roof is uneven? If it's really an issue, 
We can come back to it later, but it shouldn't be, really. So we'll just keep mining straight back, and then I'll probably have to, I'll end up having to make adjustments to this uh, bottom area out here, just because I'm going to need to have the water able to flow downwards, but uh, anyway, we'll see. Do I have an extra shovel? Wow, I'm going to run out pretty quickly as far as being able to mine out the dirt efficiently. All right. Okay, well, hello. We just broke into a cave system here, so that's gonna make things a lot easier on us. We can simply uh, fill in, oh yeah, this is one I've already been in. Um, I don't know actually how much this is going to assist us, but regardless, a little bit, we'll be able to just place down a floor rather than having to continue mining out. Um, our pickaxe is gonna be on its last leg soon. We've got this guy. I don't know how much I want to use him up, though, because ooh, diamonds can be difficult. We might want to use it for things like obsidian and whatnot. But, you know, it's actually... This thing is pretty deep. Um, I may actually... I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take these down and I'm going to up it to uh, a three-block height. Obviously, that was a point of concern. So, um... May as well start as far back as possible when it comes to the, uh, the three block dealio. I'll keep mining back just a little bit, I think. I can't decide if I want to take it all the way back through the hillside. That may be a wise idea. Um, we'll see. It depends how much re how many resources I want to use in terms of uh, pickaxes and whatnot. So we'll see how it goes. Head on back into, uh, into time lapse mode here. So there we go. A skeleton actually spawned inside there. So, uh, hey, why don't we take a look as he falls into his death and we can also determine whether or not the lava trap of death is going to be an issue so that we can uh, readjust our... All right, let's see. So now let's head back down, and we're actually going to see whether or not that, uh, that drops. So we'll head on into the retrieval area, see if that worked as far as giving us some bones. And it looks like it might not have. So that's interesting, because this is the same mechanism that was used on um, Skyblock, which worked very well. So we may have to make an adjustment and make it something that drowns them. Um, I don't know, that's a possibility. Well, now let's go back up and we'll, uh, let's see if my getting over 24 blocks away from our digging area is going to result in a lot of... Oh, well, actually, it's pretty well lit, so that shouldn't happen. But it's possible. All right. Yeah, it didn't. Oh, God! Okay, no thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. This is not what I want. Oh, God. Oh, God, we need to go. We need to get out. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. No thank you. No thank you, sir. I would prefer if you do not blow up my hard work. Oh, dear. Um, all right. Now that I've got you far enough away. Don't, don't you dare blow up. This is not good! You son of a bitch! Oh, god damn it. You would do that. Oh, there's another one! Oh, dear. Oh, god, we gotta get away. We gotta get into the water. Into the water, into the water. Oh, my god, so many. Oh, this is bad. This is a bad situation all around. Oh, no. Oh, we're going. We're going out. Oh, God, there's one up there, too. Oh, there's so many things are going to blow up right now. So many things are about to hit the fan. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, that's fun. Um, I'm going to go around the other side. 
<laughs> and I'll repair that. Uh, I'll repair the other stuff when it becomes daytime. How about that? Hello, hello, lovely, hello, beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually kill you too because I can use as many ender pearls as ouch, as ouch. Oh God, no, 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 no! Don't let me die here. Don't let me die. No. You're not even gonna be generous enough to give me- I need to eat some food so I can regen health. Oh dear. Alright, alright. How's my diamond armor doing? It's okay, it's okay. Oh man. Alright. Some close calls taking place here. Some- God, I hate you so much! Go away. Go away. Okay, okay. Now you can blow up. I'll use you as a mining tool. Don't just- don't blow me up. Ouch. All right, help me, assist me with my mining. God, he freaked me out. All right, you're not an issue. You just like to dance. I see, I see that. I'm sorry I have to put your dancing to an end. Oh boy. All right, well that just slowed down progress for a little bit there, but we're back on track now, aren't we? Okay, well then, that was fun. <laughs> All right, so. What we may as well start doing is actually mining out the water channel and we will make some adjustments to the uh, mechanism, the, the kill mechanism, because apparently the lava is just becoming too unreliable for whatever reason, whatever update that may be from. I don't know, but uh, yeah, let's do that. It's actually, we're gonna have to mine out basically this entire three block channel. Um, so we're gonna block it off first so we have no more water going. What I should have done actually is just taken those blocks and and made an infinite water source right nearby here. Oh well, I guess I can grab what's uh, down there either way. All right, so when we dig this out, let's see what we get. And break all the, get another creeper. Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? Please don't blow up my hard work. I'd, uh, I'd appreciate it if you did no such thing. Oh man, I'm probably gonna go until I break the diamond. It's bound to happen eventually, you know? You may as well use it. You may as well use it if you have it, so either way. So we're just gonna dig out this channel and... Oh god, is there another? Are they just everywhere? You're just having a creeper party going on over here? Or are you just the same one? You look... you might be just the same one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna drop. Hi there, so nice to see you. Don't knock me off of where I am, please. Oh, there's another one. Good God, no, thank you. Oh, we're getting double teamed here, aren't we? Nope. Get out of my house. By how? Well, it's actually this is gonna be your house technically. It's gonna be your house of death and dying all over the place. I'm sorry to sorry to break it to you. Once I'm finished here. Okay, so we'll dig this out. Gotta just keep. Digging it out, and again, diamond pickaxe on nether rack should bring up the uh, durability by amount of swings rather than amount of blocks dug out. Hello, Mr. Creeper, once again, are you going to want to assist me in construction here by blowing things up? Yeah, not much you can do, is there? No, no, too bad for you. Too bad for you, buddy. You just sitting there all helpless. No, god darn it. Why do you have to go down there? Why do you have to do that? Why do you have to do that? I wanted to kill you. I wanted to kill you. Oh well. Anyway. Oh, hi there. Hi, buddy. No, oh, god damn it. Oh god. You did nothing. Oh boy, that was cool. Wow, you just destroyed a lot of stuff down there. Fortunately, you didn't touch the important stuff. <laughs> all right. Well. Anywho, um, let's get our buckets, and we will pick up these two things of water. All right. That was interesting. Wait, that was weird. I picked up one, and it obviously created the new water bucket, but then I said it said I still had two there. I'm confused. That was weird. Um, so this seems to be unreliable. Sorry, lava, but we're gonna have to do something different, aren't we? It's been a it's been a good run. It's been a good run, but um, yeah, man, I don't know what to tell you. 
All right, so wait for the lava to dissipate and that's also, it'll also be nice because that way it'll be nice and, uh, and dark throughout the entire complex. I should have actually just destroyed the lava from out here. Goodbye, lava. You had a nice run, but uh, your time is up. All right, let's get rid of these guys. And we're going to have to just totally redo this area. So we'll start off our channel kind of... Well, we want enough of a drop-off to where we can potentially create a drowning mechanism of sorts. Um, although, we can just dig into the ground if that becomes necessary, so it's not a huge issue. I'll probably just leave some stuff out here, just as scraps, and we'll get to it later and we'll tidy things up. Either way... Um, Alright. So let's start building our channel. Our channel will go from here and I'll just start it at this level I guess and then they'll they'll drop on in and we'll kill them slowly but surely alright so it's gonna be three wide three wide and every eight blocks we are simply going to go up a level so we'll end it right here so one two three four five six Seven and eight. Okay, and obviously we're going to need to clear out all this stuff as well. And here we're just going to have to make it a uh, completely open area. Okay, wait, so that was eight right there, so we didn't need to do that. So now we bring it up a tier. And first we're going to make ourselves a little infinite water cubby <laughs> over yonder. Um, all right, so we need to block this stuff off, I guess, so it doesn't flow all over the place. Right over here. All right, so that should work. Now where are we going to put our infinite water? I guess we'll do it right here. Okay. So we also don't need you, do we? Nope. we go one I'm gonna want to have all the buckets here aren't I well I only have two so that's nice also gonna want to block this off aren't we oops not what we wanted to do ah god darn it oh you're pushing me off the edge and it's really obnoxious there we go There we are. Okay, that's better. There we go. And that goes all the way to the edge. So now we will slowly but surely work our way over here. And obviously we're going to need to uh, fill this out. Fortunately, good God, we have a lot of cobblestone. We should have plenty to, uh, to do this whole thing. So keep... Building this out. So one, two, three, four. Let's keep mining. We're gonna make a new shovel soon, aren't we? Um, I didn't need to do that, did I? <laughs> Unnecessary mineage. And we'll just dig this channel on back till we get to where we've dug to so far. Up yonder. Alright. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna break our shovel in like two seconds here. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be seven and eight. Okay. Okay, we need to go and get a new shovel, don't we? Yes, we do. But I am, I am feeling very confident in this design. I think it will be a winner. Actually, what's probably going to happen is uh, the first night when we walk away and leave this be, we're just going to get a bunch of mobs getting funneled into that uh, waterway. And it's going to be 
Oh, hi there. Where do you? How are you even still alive, man? It's not even that shady here, dude. All right, so I'm gonna go back and grab a new shovel, and then we'll continue working on our mob spawner, the final.